Okay, so we're here with Frankie Egger, former UFC lightweight champion, ready to kind of have a super fight of sorts. How are you feeling coming into this? I feel really good, you know, uh, looking forward to weighing in and uh, getting a show on the road and, and getting in a cage and performing. Uh, it's been the age-old question for you, when are you going to drop to 145? You're finally at this weight class. How does it feel for you? It feels natural. I feel good. You know, I did it the right way. I was disciplined, you know, on my cut down and um, uh, my energy levels are up and my weight's down. So, you know, plan good. Of course, with Aldo, we expect a lot of his Muay Thai, the kicks. You said you've brought in a couple of training partners, specifically Edson Barboza, and also I think you said Marlon Moraes on the uh, call. How have they really helped you get your head movement, your uh, ability to check the kicks, ready for Aldo? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's practice makes perfect, and uh, you know they're throwing a lot, a lot of uh, Muay Thai at me, and um, you know they ha also have a very pretty, pretty well-rounded MMA game as well. So. Uh, you know, the more you, you can get used to that, the, the only more it's going to help you in a fight. With uh, all those statistics, I believe he's out of 55 takedowns, stopped 52. How do you find uh, how do you find a way to implement your skill, your strategy to actually get him down and keep him down? Yeah, you know, I, I just got to use my wrestling like I always have. You know, mix it up well between the striking and the wrestling, and uh, and keep him guessing. You have the unique uh, possibility here in this fight to become the third man in the UFC to hold two titles in uh, different weight classes, right along with Randy Couture and BJ Penn. Is that something that really, uh, I guess, that you're striving for to accomplish? I'm just trying to win my next fight, you know, and uh, if I win my next fight, I'm going to get the title and I'm going to uh, be able to be a part of history with Randy and BJ. So if I just go in there thinking i got to win my next fight, I'll take care of all the, everything else. On their training camp for Aldo, was there anything specific that you, besides the Muay Thai and the head movement and getting the takedowns going, what else had you really worked on specifically to prepare for him? Uh, you know, I just got to go in there and be myself. Uh, you know, I prepared immensely, and if I show up Saturday night, I'll be all right. The last time he had a long layoff, it was, I guess, right before his Hominic fight. Did you take a look at any of that tape and find any weaknesses throughout that fight that you might be able to implement on Saturday? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, we watch you know, all his recent fights. Uh, you know, my coaches are the ones that, that, that study it more than I do. They, uh, they come with the game plan, and I just execute. How much of an advantage do you find it to be that he's had this long period and the long layoff? I, I don't know. It's tough. I, I don't know how he approaches his training. I don't know how he approaches his, the mental aspect of it. So, uh, you know, we're just going to have to find out, you know, within, these, uh, within the 25 minutes of this fight. Well, thank you, Frankie. Thank you.